Okay. Is there sound now? <laughs> Do I have to start over again? No. Was there... Where, where? <laughs> I don't know. Is there sound? Is there sound now? See there? I launch into, I launch into this huge thing, and, uh, and there's no sound. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I get. Yeah, I, yes, yeah that's what I get. I know. We, should, we were supposed to talk to you last week. We didn't. Um, <clears throat> so... So who? So where did where? Uh, nobody heard anything. Nothing. None of it. Start over. Oh Jesus. Start talking. It's okay. Where do we? I don't even know what. Okay. So <laughs> the whole. So it was a, a silent. It was a silent movie. The whole beginning. It was. So you guys can actually. You can if you want to. Here's the thing. If you want to, you can watch the beginning, but hold up cards that say rude things. I'm all for it. So. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't. I was rambling, and 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 now I know we can't. We we don't. We you know. Um, okay. Well, apparently, if you were on Facebook, you might have heard us, and if you're on YouTube, well, you got the silent treatment. Um, so if you're on if you're on Facebook, I would say right now is a good time to get a drink while I recap where we've been the whole time when I was talking and there was no sound. I guess. Um, so. So where were we? Um, I don't even remember. I just uh, booze. So what? What are we drinking tonight? Well, uh, t right now, right here in this here glass, in this one right now, this is a daiquiri. It's a very large daiquiri. I may, I may, you know, confess to some things, but not everything. Um, but um, it's a daiquiri, and why? Well, because. It happened to be what I had. I had some rum, I had some citrus, I had lime juice, and I had some sweetener. And, um, you know, we've talked about that in the past, about the formula, the, the cocktail formula. And I will say, so daiquiris, uh, I said this, if you're, on, if you're on Facebook, you already heard this, but if you're on YouTube, you didn't. Uh, there's a place out here called the Red Iguana, which makes a fabulous uh, daiquiri, and it's just lime juice and sweetener and rum, and, and it's a great thing. And it's served in a cocktail glass. It's, a, it's a, you know, it's, it's fancy. There's no shrimp in it, but it's fancy, I gotta say. But, uh, but I digress. So, what's the deal? Why do I care? Why am I saying that? Why? Why? Who? When? Where? Um, because, because yesterday, yesterday, what was I drinking? Does anyone know? Was anyone spying on us? No? Well, I'll tell you. Yesterday, I was drinking gimlets. What is a gimlet? Audience, does anyone know what's in a gimlet? What is in a gimlet? A gimlet, not a vodka gimlet, but a gimlet. Okay, well, I'll tell you. So a gimlet is gin, sweetener, and citrus, lime juice. So uh, some people make it with, a, with just a gin and roses lime and a, you know, a little squeeze and a garnish. Um, but uh, so, so wait a minute. Daiquiri is rum. Citrus sweetener, gimlet, gin, citrus sweetener. Where else can we go with this? I wonder. Hmm. What about a whiskey sour? We've done lots of whiskey sours on this show. What's the base? Well, the base, the base of a whiskey sour is whiskey, sweetener. You got it, baby. Citrus. That's right. Lemon. Some people use a mixture of lemon and lime juice. You know, some people have their own sweetener mixtures like I do. Sometimes I'll do a, a smoked spiced honey, you know, thing for the sweetener. But the basic, the basic, the building blocks right there, right down below where you're sitting. And they might be hiding under the chair. If you, if you reach down underneath there, if you find a key, it's, you can take the car, it's yours. Um, but, uh, but no, whiskey sour, what is that? Whiskey, sweetener, citrus, daiquiri. Whiskey, uh, rum. Oh. See, I've already had a few of these. Uh, sweetener, citrus, gimlet, gin, sweetener, citrus, vodka, gimlet. Uh, well, same thing, just vodka, sweetener, citrus. There's a lot of you can go. You can pretty much you could have a, what pisco sour. What's that? Pisco, sweetener, citrus, and the weird thing about that <clears throat> is that uh, it that is pretty much the consummate cocktail recipe going way back because what's in here ice right so we got we got strong we got weak which is the ice we got sweet 
and we got sour. It that is that is the consummate cocktail recipe, um, and that's one of the things is that some people are like. Well, what should I? What, what do you have? I don't know. What can I make? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. And like, there's a lot of confusing things. But the truth of the matter be, you can take this right here. So you can take. So I have a daiquiri, right? Lime juice, rum, sweetener. Now, if we change the sweetener and add a little bit of a, you know, maybe we go with a little bit of a orgeat, right? Which is an almond flavor to it. And maybe we add a little bit of curacao, which has a slight orange flavor. What do we got there? Mai Tai. You know, it's, this is, this is the thing. If you have, if you're in your larder, and I'm not talking about your larder, but the larder, the, the consummate, you know, larder. Um, if you keep in that a, uh, some lime juice, now, granted, I know, the, the purists out there, I hear them, I hear them gnashing their teeth. They're like, ah, uh, uh, larder. No, but here's the thing. Yeah, you can keep limes in your fruit bowl for about a week. But if you don't use them all up, they go bad. They get they get hard. They get dark. It's gross. It's they get they they become like it's like a golf ball. But then when you hit it, it doesn't go in the hole. And then when you get to the end, they're like, "What'd you get?" And you're like, "Par six. And they're like, "Oh no, you should have got a, you should have got a birdie on like the eighth. And you're like, "Yeah, I did, but it was the lime, and it was like oblong and weird. And you hit it, and I was like, "I used I used my uh, my mashy niblick, and it was like, and it didn't go in. So here's the thing: you can have fresh citrus on hand. And I, I recommend doing that as a course of action. But if you don't, because you're going to use it all up, boozing it up as you do, you people, um, I suggest that in the pantry, you keep a bottle of, of lemon juice and a bottle of lime juice. Now, tr granted, you know, not, not the best. Real lemon, real lime. Um, it's not the same as fresh squeezed. It's not. And I'm not trying to say it is. But what I'm saying is, in a pinch, when you're when you like come home after a hard day's work and you open up the pantry and all that's in there is robots fighting it out amongst who gets to be superior, you don't want to deal with that? No. No, you want to drink. And you go and you look at the fruit bowl and all that's in there is golf balls because you realized that they actually hit straight as opposed to limes, because those things, I you can't even you you know, I'd go with a with a wood or a driver, but pfft, limes. Who does that? Nobody. So so what I'm saying is it is, is, is if you keep a little, you keep some citrus in the pantry, some citrus juices, and some sugar, or if you're on the on the lower caloric side, you can get the. There's definitely lots of uh, sugar-free syrups out there. You can get. You can actually get sugar-free sugar syrup, uh, which is uh, I'm guessing like Splenda. Um, but um, keep some sweetener, some citrus, and some booze on hand, and you can make yourself up some very fine cocktails. Um, and I'll tell you, it hits the spot a whole lot better than that can of beer that's been sitting at the bottom of the fridge underneath the uh, sour cream. Because, and you don't, you're like going, well, it's Pabst Blue Ribbon. How bad could it be? But you don't remember where that came from. That could have been from like, like six, fourth of July's ago. And I mean, not that I wouldn't drink it, but what I'm saying is that, is that given, given the choice of uh, subpar daiquiri or uh, two year out of date Pabst, I gotta think a minute. I'm probably gonna go with the daiquiri. So, so that's the deal. So that's the thing. So, what are we talking about here? Citrus, booze, ice, sweetener. Have those things. Have those things in your bar larder. Not your your bar larder, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, and you will never and you will never be let down more than you are already by watching this show. That's the thing. So that's what I'm here. What I'm here to tell you. So. What other stuff? Well, hey! I don't know. <laughs> Usually there's something else that I'm like, uh, um. Did I ever tell you guys about the Booze Teak? Uh, the Booze Teak is Salt Lake City's own booze emporium right down there in the heart of the city. That's right. They come to you by you going to them. And by that, I mean that you should go down to 315 East Broadway duck on in and you tell Ivy that Tiki King sent you and she'll stare at you blankly. So say it again louder and she'll stare even blanker. So say it louder and then she'll call the police. Uh, and while you're waiting for the police to arrive, I would say go over there and shop the bitters because they have the largest selection of bitters. 
I don't know even about salt. It, it may be the largest selection of bitters in the world. Prove me wrong. I'm saying I have never seen more. I've like I've been in I've been in put in the I've like in the liquor store. I'm like, hey, you got bitters? And they're like, yeah, Agnostura. And I'm like, you got orange? And they're like, just what you see, pal. And I'm like, you're you're not my pal. And they're like, that's not what you said in the Christmas card. And I'm like, I didn't write that Christmas card. My producer did. And they're like, you should tell your pro your producer to be more careful about who you send to get bitters. And I'm like, come on now, let's not make this. Anyway, I digress. But um, but no, they uh, she. Uh, Go down there, the boutique, an entire wall of bitters. There's bitters that I was like, I didn't even think were important, but now I think I'm missing out. Scorpion bitters. That's the one. I keep thinking about that one. I wake up at night sometimes. I'm like, scorpion bitters. What, what do you put that in? I don't know. But there's a bug in it, which is a lot like my orange juice sometimes. But different kind. But anyway, so there you go. Yeah, so head on down. Head on down to the Booze Teak. Get yourself some stuff and things. They got the bar tools. They got the bitters. They got the mixers. They got the books. They got all kinds of fun stuff. And plus, you know, like I said, where else are you going to go? You can go to the booze store, but what do they got? Booze. Because you're going to go into the booze store and say, hey, uh, you guys got mixers? And they're going to say, nope. And you're going to say, you got bitters? Nope. That's the thing. So here, well, here, at least here, maybe where you're from, I don't know. But if you're here in Salt Lake City, in the Utah area, the booze stores, they don't sell mixers. And the mixer stores, they don't sell booze. So you got to figure out, you got you to you head on down to the hybrid because it's where you want to be. Trust me. Anyway, uh, what else? Well, um, that's kind of it, I think. Other than giant canoes that I don't have, they're all they're in the bin. I can't bring them out. Hey, did I show you guys these giant canoes? Use your imagination. No. Um, <laughs> no, we, 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 uh, Tiki Oasis kind of decimated the stock. But, um, but I'm making more. Not as we speak, but when we don't speak, earlier in the day. I'm, I'm, about, I'm out there in the, uh, the Tiki King workshop making noise and dust and uh, coming forth with all sorts of crazy things. So, if you see, go to the website. Go to tikiking.info? Net. Go to tikiking.net. I own every Tiki King domain, and I don't remember what's on half of them. Um, go to tikiking.net. Order stuff, because why? Because you want it. You know that. Um, and uh, if, you're, if you haven't been watching, and you're one of those people who uh, ordered art pieces, I'm working on those too. Um... The, uh, the, uh, this year's art piece, which sold right away at the art show at Tiki Oasis, um, we're doing um, not replicas. It's not the same thing. It's going to be almost the same thing, but there's going to be nuances. It's going to be a little different because I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to like, I don't, I don't reproduce the art. I just make my own interpretation of what I do, which is sort of like my own idea of what I'm doing, which is my own idea of what I'm doing. And I... I riff on that one. But uh, but anyway, yeah, so go check it out. Go to the website. Order some stuff because every time you order, it's not like, it's not, just think of it this way. It's not like you're getting stuff. It's like I'm getting money to buy booze with. That's, you know, that's the thing. It's like, you may think, you may do, you may be like, well, you know, what do I need this for? Don't think of it that way. Think of what booze does Tiki King need? Yeah, think of it that way. Spend appropriately. So, Do you have any questions from the audience? I always love that part. Nobody, no, they're like, they're right now they're all like, what, what's going on? Is there a football game? They've like tuned out. They've tuned out, they've dropped out, turned on, and tuned in to something else. I wouldn't blame them. I would, I'm, I'm like, I'm actually currently in my earpiece listening to the FBI. But uh, that's my job. So, yeah. Anyway. I guess that's not a, it's, you know, I guess that's it. I guess that's the show. The, oh, yeah? Is that the show? I guess that's the show. Well, you know what? I, like I said, this wasn't going to be a, a, a long, involved one, but it was longer than you probably wanted. So, I'm Tiki King, and you're the Booze Kateers, and you know what? I haven't said this in a while, but I think it bears repeating, and uh, bears often repeat things, but it's usually just, uh, where's the food? Um, but uh, no. 
I used to always say that, uh, you know, that our hope is to someday do a good show and we want you to hope the same thing. So there you go. Our pledge is that you can keep on hoping. So I'm T.K. King and you're the Booze Good night. And good drinking.